First at Five. From the University of Florida's College of Journalism and Communications, you're watching WUFT News. In its third consecutive year, Great Clips, You Can Think of Veteran Promotion, has provided over half a million free haircuts for veterans and active service members around the country. And today, this Great Clips location expects to serve about 100 of them. Manure from these cows is recycled to help produce about 70% of the farm's electricity. Many passengers here at Gainesville Regional Airport expect to be picked up by taxis and Uber drivers, but the problem now is they don't know which Uber driver is permitted to do so. To some, this looks like a window, but for those who come to the repurpose project, this window could easily be used to make a greenhouse and even a chicken coop. They say if the ordinance passes, they will consider signing it, but there's no decision yet as to when that would happen. Reporting from the newsroom, Taylor Anderson, WUFT News. Labor Day weekend brings the unofficial end of summer and the official end of Hollywood summer movie season. Well, some nominees for TV's top honor awards, the Emmys, have already found out their winners. And one superstar may have to move quite a few Grammys to make room for that golden statue. Well, in TV news, some familiar programming is getting dusted off. The 90s are making a comeback on Nickelodeon's sister channel, and some network comedians have taken notice. Well, guys, there's a lot of scare in Hollywood this week, but first, let's see how the movies are gearing up for the big holiday season. Taylor Anderson joins us in the newsroom. Taylor, where can vets go to get a free trim? Well, Taylor, Danielle, they can go to Great Clips. The salon began its You Can Think of Veteran promotion today with free haircuts for active, inactive, or retired military members of any branch, including the National Guard. Across the nation, Great Clips salons and their customers are showing appreciation of veterans and members of the military. One local veteran spent his day at the salon waiting to get a free haircut from his very own granddaughter. I think it's great that uh, Great Clips is going to give a free haircut today, so I thank them very much. Shaw told me how he spent many years in the United States Navy, and this haircut is much different than those he once experienced. They were quick and fast and short. While not every customer today will be a veteran, customers who get a haircut are receiving free haircut cards to pass on to any member of the military. And the regular customers come in and they thank the, vet they thank the veterans as they leave for their service, and I think that's sweet. Great Clips salon owners and their stylists are excited to extend this year's Veterans Day offer to as many veterans and service members as possible. In its third consecutive year, Great Clips You Can Think of Veteran promotion has provided over half a million free haircuts for veterans and active service members around the country. And today, this Great Clips location expects to serve about 100 of them. For veterans like Don Shaw, today is a day to remember their many years of service and to be appreciated not only by the ones they love, but those in their community. Veterans or active service members with a free haircut card can redeem with proof of military service through December 31st at any U.S. Great Clips salon. Reporting from the newsroom, Taylor Anderson, WUFT News. There's a saying that one man's trash is another man's treasure. Well. In the case of the Repurpose Project, it's more than just a saying. Through community donation, items that would normally be thrown into the landfill are brought here to a nonprofit dedicated to diverting waste. We try our best to find other uses using different mediums, especially art and education, to redistribute those items back into the community. About three years ago, two people came together sharing a desire to do something with sustainability. Co-founders Mike Myers and Sarah Goff started the Repurpose Project to encourage people to do something with their trash and spark creativity. Thinking outside the box is like we're all about it. You know, people come in and they have one thing that they're looking for, but so often there's another thing that can be used for the same, you know, purpose. The Repurpose Project works hard to not only promote the environmental benefit of buying used, but shows that there is an overlooked treasure in everyone's dumpster. To some, this looks like a window, but for those who come to the Repurpose Project, this window could easily be used to make a greenhouse and even a chicken coop. For anyone who visits this not-so-average thrift store, employees tell me people don't know what to expect. Just right in the backyard, you can find chairs from an old bowling alley and office supplies from a local store that closed down. Even local teachers come here to find just what they need for their classrooms while still protecting the environment. When you come here, you know, this is all stuff that, you know, it, first of all, it gets it out of the landfill. It gets it out of your house because you don't need it, and it provides it for people who do.
Your everyday household item goes into landfills, and it seems once it is there, it is gone forever. Except... It isn't gone forever because plastic is forever. <laughs> on average, 100 tons of garbage is dumped into landfills each day. That can be compared to the size of a commercial airplane. In hopes to educate not only the Gainesville community, this project really encourages those to rethink buying things they do not need. While people continue to bring their trash here, it seems that just as many walk away with treasure. Their creativity goes on and on. There's all this experimentation that's going on all the time about what to do next and what the next life is going to be for the things that come through here. Both co-founders believe there is an evolution to the Repurpose Project. It's not just a store, but a store that supplies imagination and suggests a need for change. Taylor Anderson, WUFT News. Taylor Anderson joins us in the studio to explain. Taylor, what's the latest? So since the passing of the Vehicle for Hire Ordinance in early September, Uber drivers are no longer banned from working at the airport. Cab drivers had been upset that they were regulated and Uber was not. The ordinance solved that problem. But airport officials are now struggling to identify legal and illegal Uber drivers. Drivers are supposed to purchase a special permit to allow the pickup of airport passengers. But most Uber drivers have yet to hear about these new regulations. Uber drivers are now permitted to drive in the city of Gainesville. But many of them have not yet obtained the special permit they need to do business at the airport. Many drivers continue to pick up passengers illegally. Since the passing of the ordinance, drivers should be aware that they can get the permit from the airport, but many say they've been left in the dark by Uber. Yeah, I knew that it had passed. Uh, it was on the news when I heard it, but uh, I didn't know what all it entailed and how we go about doing what we need to do. We haven't been informed by Uber yet as to what we needed to do. Airport officials have said that purchasing an additional permit is a quick and easy process. I'm willing to, buy, like I said, I'm willing to buy the purchase the medallions or whatever it is, the permits that I need for the city and for the airport. Many passengers here at Gainesville Regional Airport expect to be picked up by taxis and Uber drivers, but the problem now is they don't know which Uber driver is permitted to do so. It does create some confusion for our passengers. They don't know whether or not that Uber driver can pick them up. Um, we're hoping that that contract comes through with Uber shortly. Uber is in the process of negotiating a contract that would cover all Uber drivers at the airport and eliminate the need for them to buy the special permits. Until then, the drivers will have to buy the $100 permits that the airport is offering them. If not, they face a fine if they aren't in compliance. Taylor Anderson, WUFT News.